Today is 10 July 2021. Today I'm gonna demonstrate and prove the, the principal operation of the FMSGR scheme number eight design, which is a super capacitor in tandem with another super capacitor to power up and energize the electrical loads. Right there, this uh, LED lamp. And also here, this one here, this uh, incandescent 10 watts DC lamp as the load right now. But that load, this LED lamp is reserved for the inverter. So today, I'm gonna demonstrate the principle of this FMSGR scheme number eight, design scheme number eight using the supercapacitor number two and supercapacitor number one which combined total of 99.98 farads as its capacitance however this uh, supercapacitor number two has only 66.6 farad capacitance whereas here the supercapacitor number one has total of 32 point 32 parads capacitance only so they are separate with one another and functioning separately with one another today right now we have the charge controller number two supervising controlling the supervising controlling monitoring the operation of the super capacitor number two here and we have super have charge solar charge controller number one which is supervising controlling and monitoring the operation of this super capacitor number one module pack and, and for the super capacitor number two module pack is this charge controller number two now right now the bypass switch number one and bypass switch number two is uh, open and i have to close now the bypass number two to energize it however we have to check first the operation uh, of this uh, super capacitor number two which shows that there is a remnant energy as shown by this uh, LCD display which is reading 13.6 volts DC and it has a uh, enable the load lamp which is shown this uh, LED symbol uh, the load lamp symbol lamp which uh, shows that it, which indicates that it's ready to accept load right now so the ATS switch is right here we have this source and uh, emergency source which is the battery and this source is represented by the super capacitor right now the load switch one and load switch two is up is open but now i have to close now the load switch number two for this charge controller number two which controls the flow of the super capacitor number two so right now i'm going to close the load switch number two to demonstrate the functioning of the principle so it's open already energize immediately the load uh, coming from the remnant energy of the super capacitor number two this one and it shows here the 13.4 volts it's diminishing now because there's a load already and i have to close now this uh, bypass switch number one to and bus bypass, bypass switch number two is still open right now bypass switch number one and bypass switch number two is still open right now because there is still a remnant energy from the super capacitor number two it's still not diminishing it's right now it's still high 13.1 volts but it's going down right now because of the load already right now so i'm getting ready the the energy flow from this uh, super capacitor number one by closing the load switch number one as a standby So once the voltage shown here is coming down to 10.8 uh, volts, the, that will be detected by the uh, automatic transfer switch and it switches over to the switch control number one or the super capacitor number one energy to change over, to transfer the loading to the load here. This uh, 10 watts incandescent LED lamp, not the uh, incandescent lamp, I mean. This is 10 watts DC, uh, 12 volts DC right now. So the right now the voltage is coming down 12.6 volts already and it should come down right now. Right now the 10 watts is uh, consuming the, the energy and so it shows the voltage is coming down 12.4 12 12.4 volts was already down. So 
The charge controller number one shows that the green lamp is uh, of the uh, symbol of the battery or the separate capacitor number one here, meaning there's a charge uh, remnant energy there, and by, because of that, there is a load enabled, which is shown by the red lamp here, which is just ready to accept load also. But I have to increase the energy so that it will be ready to accept load also. But right now it's on standby. So right now the voltage is 12.1. It's coming down here. It's already coming down 12.1 volts and should be ready to shut down to change over to the other one. This one here right now. So the LED, the, the, the incandescent lamp 12 volts DC, 10 watts is powered up. So right now from the supercapacitor number two, which is this one shown here. This one here. And uh, the charge control number two is showing the voltage is 11.8 already now. It's coming down. So, and we should be waiting to switch over now. Right now, it will switch over. Once the voltage comes down to 10.8 volts. Let's see. Let's see. But now the sun is uh, dim. There's not much sun. The sun is hiding. Not much uh, either. The sun is there over there. But it's not cloudy. No much energy coming to the from the solar panel to charge the supercapacitor. But right now, this the remnant voltage is coming down here, 11.4 volts, it's coming down already. So let's wait and see what will happen. It will change over in a moment. Once the voltage goes down to 10.8 volts, it will change over. Mm. It will change over. Right now here. So let's just wait and see. What will happen right now here is on standby only this one it's already the large LCD, uh, load switch one this already closed so it's uh, on standby it's ready to change over once the voltage comes down from this uh, solar charge control number two or that bolt is coming from the super capacitor number two which is this one this one here so it's coming down 11.1 volts let's wait and see 10.8 volts it will come down 10.8 volts, it will switch over immediately. It will switch over with no plugger. It's supposed to be no plugger. That's prove, uh, this shows to prove, uh, that proves the principle of operation or the concept of operation. Concept operation of the supercapacitor in tandem. There, switch over already. There, switch over. Yes, to, to the uh, switch uh, to the load uh, charge control number one. It's changed over here already. The, now the energy is coming from the from this one, super capacitor number one here. This one, super capacitor number one. It's changed over already. It's switched over. It's switched over already. Yes, there's the load. There's not so much. Uh, 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 there's no plugger. Not uh, noticeable plugger. Now I have to open now here. I have to close now the bypass two to charge the, again the super capacitor number two. Now it's switch over. It's switch over. It's switch over here. It's switch over. It's switch over. Here, you see, it's switch over here. It's switch over. Amen, Lord, mercy. Amen, Lord, thank you, Lord. Amen, Lord, mercy. Amen, thank you, Lord, mercy. Switch over. Switch over here to the to the switch over to the resistor which is represented by supercapacitor number two. So on here, it is a function immediately. It switch over to the DC load. That now here.